Hey, good morning everyone and welcome back to KXAN News Today. As you can see, we've got a special guest here with us today. This is Mr. Vivek Gaswani, a doctor with St. David's Healthcare. We appreciate you being here this morning. And we've got you here because we're talking about daylight saving time. It's a big talker right now and I know actually tomorrow we're going to be setting our clocks back an hour, right? That's right. Okay, so my biggest question and maybe everybody out there might have this question too how does daylight saving affect our sleep and of course our bodies yeah sure good question uh so i think it's important to recognize that a majority of countries don't honor daylight savings times the united states is somewhat unique and in the minority of toggling back and forth twice a year between daylight savings and standard time and although we feel like we're acclimated to it a lot of um, literature and a lot of the studies in the last 10 or 12 years would suggest our bodies are not <laughs> so anytime we have a disconnect between our circadian rhythm and the sun's natural uh, time clock, it can lead to sleep disorders, which can lead to fatigue and changes our metabolism and weight gain, blood pressure changes, um, amongst a host of other things. And more specifically, a lot of the more recent literature has suggested an increase in cardiovascular disease as a result. So in the days to weeks fo following a time change, we are at 24% increased risk of developing a heart attack, 8% uh, increased risk of having a stroke. Uh, the amount of accidents, including fatal car accidents, go up by 6% in the days following daylight savings. And the amount of major depressive disorder goes up by 11%. So although we feel like we're acclimated to these changes, uh, I would encourage everyone to ease into it. Oh my gosh, shocking to hear you say that. I didn't know that. Rich is like, oh my God, we get up in the middle of the night. Okay, so what are some healthy habits that we can develop right now to at least try to better prepare ourselves? Yeah, absolutely. So I think uh, most importantly, we don't have to wait until Sunday to make these changes. We can start slowly transitioning in the days preceding daylight savings to start adjusting our sleep patterns accordingly. I think the most important thing is to get seven to nine hours of sleep and try to avoid things that could interfere with our sleep hygiene. So we want to avoid things like caffeine or alcohol, stimulants, or sleeping with the TV on. I think after a time change, getting outside and getting out in that morning sun is a real natural way of resyncing Feeling the sun on your skin, our yes. circadian rhythm with uh, the sun's uh, actual time clock. And really importantly, after the time change, getting out there and exercising first thing in the morning is a wonderful way of raising our body temperature a restoring wakefulness and a really uh, smooth way of kind of decreasing the hangover or the jet lag that could be associated with uh, daylight savings time. So you said seven to eight hours typically a night, um, but what does good sleep look like? I know sometimes I wake up and I'm just like, oh, I'm still so exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, so it's not just sleep, it's the type of sleep we're getting. So stage four, which is that REM restorative sleep, is really the sleep that replenishes us. So oftentimes, even though we're sleeping for seven to eight hours, unless we're getting in that true restorative sleep, oftentimes the result could be that of feeling fatigue and still daytime somnolence and really not being able to concentrate. So uh, getting good quality sleep is important. I think uh, we've kind of migrated to a place where we're working more and you know sleeping a lot is almost considered a weakness but i would encourage people to get their rest and invest in their health as a result yeah thank you so much for being here this morning uh, something that's certainly top of mind so we appreciate your time this morning i appreciate the opportunity thank you